Hello again. I um, decided to do this video straight after my last video. Um, I thought I'll just get all three videos done and uh, post them over the next wee while. So, uh, so if you watch my last video, I've gone straight in to do this one. So this is the um, last of the Amity Bloom uh, ones that I had the bones made of and I've just decorated them. So I'm going to have a wee break from doing these now and um, I might do some more in the future but I'm going to, I want to go back to constructing them um, myself and having a play that way. So uh, this will be the last ones of these for a little while. Um, again, this one's going to come with some envelopes and there will be goodies inside these but as I said in my last video, my craft room's full of boxes at the moment and I can't get to the cupboard where I keep all my sort of ephemera and bits and pieces like that. So there's nothing in these for this video, but when I send this book out, it will have all the similar kind of bits that are in the envelopes of my last uh, book. So what I did with this one is I had made these little um, covers thinking I was going to make them into their own journals. But this one turned out to be um, exactly the right size to go around this one. So I thought I'd make it a little wrap for this journal instead. So it's got the Tim Holtz uh, butterfly fabric. This is from one of these old music rolls. Um, this is the bit that's usually just at the start of the music roll. So I, I stuck this on here because the colour matched perfectly. And then I made a little one of these. I don't even know what that would be called. And again, the rusted bits and pieces that I've been doing and then a wee cluster on the back as well. So I've used for quite a lot of the fabric in this book, I've used, this is, I think it was a bed sheet, um, but it's lovely. It's cotton and it's got the loveliest pattern on it and it matched all the sort of earthy tones of this really well. And it, so this comes off completely. It's just a little wrap for the book and uh, this is the little book again um, I've used beads and buttons um, to decorate the edges and this is off an old necklace and this is a pair of old earrings so I love um, rummaging through my uh, charity shops for um, jewellery to decorate my books so this is the same layout as the last one and we tuck here with Tim Holtz card and this is the Tim Holtz clips that rust beautifully. They come up really nice. And then in this belly band I've got again a vintage receipt printed onto newsprint paper so it feels nice and old. And again I've used the Tim Holtz flowers throughout this book as well. And this is the same little tuck using the same ribbon as before and a wee flip here with a little card inside a vellum envelope and a wee envelope here I think it's Tim Holtz um, card that yeah it's a Tim Holtz journaling card I will add some other wee bits in there as well and that's just clipped in there and then I've got a little rusted bell down here and again another little tuck here oops and this another one of those tea bags I've put a die cut inside and glued it shut and that looks quite nice coming through the tea bag and then there's another wee journaling card at the back there Another little cluster um, and journaling cards in here backed on either vintage ledger or the packing paper, which I just think is a great idea. And we've got a little journaling card here. And then a little tuck. These are all the ruby and pearl kit again of the old painting snippets just sort of bits 
from paintings and they're just lovely. So this is a very similar layout to my last book if you watched my last video. It's a, uh, because I made them both at the same time. So they're different um, enough, but they do have a similar feel to them. And then one of those vintage checks, that's 1925. And again, plenty of journaling space in the V signature that's in this book. And then this little cluster was uh, perfect enough for a little tuck there. It stays in. And in here we've got another little journaling card. And then on the other side I've got a little envelope with some fabric that I've just done some stamping on. I thought somebody could use in this book if they wanted to. Another wee card here. And this is a vintage button. It's really pretty and it's the perfect colour for this book. And again, plenty of wee places to journal. And then, oh, I've forgotten to put a wee bit of sari in that, I will. And how many times I go through the book to add finishing touches and I still manage to miss the odd wee thing. That's a Tracy Fox envelope as well. And then on this page, I've got the wee cluster, but I've put a Tim Holtz slot die and then put a couple of stickers and some little tickets in here. I was going to put some of my vintage tickets, which I will, in there as well. And then on the back, another piece of... Uh, printed vellum another little pocket here and then on the back here I've just clipped a fabric tag that I made which again I backed onto that really nice marble card and then here we've got another one of those And then just a little journaling card here as well. And there is a wee journaling card in there as well. And on the back here, I've just clipped uh, this lovely little square doily, which I thought was really cute. And this is, I think this is Graphics Fairy, and it's like a, I'm guessing you're supposed to print it onto card and then cut the... Um, the frame out. What I did is I put it onto um, tracing paper and I thought wherever you put it with something behind it you would see the image through it. So again I'll pop that in for whoever ends up with this book and have a play with that. Another wee cluster at the back and one of the Tim Holtz flowers on the back. So that was quite a quick little flip through because it is so similar to the book that I um, I made in my last video because I'm making this um, video straight after the last one I probably was quite quick flicking through that but um, I will now go through the envelopes like I say these are empty at the moment but they will have the same kind of goodies in them as I showed you in my last video but I can show that these are all decorated with a napkin, same napkin on all of them. And then again, these ruby and pearl images and just little clusters with um, matching buttons throughout as well. And then this is a little um, fabric. I don't know if you'll see it and I don't know if you can see, but there's like embossed. Here we go. There's embossed flowers on this fabric. So it's really pretty. It was a big um, tea cloth, tablecloth set that I had and I used it to make these so you can see the flowers. There we go. And they're just so nice. It's a blossom as well, sort of fits with the flowers throughout this. And then we've got this one. I like the wee butterfly. And then this one. Again, I've used the butterfly on the back. And again, another little cluster. And then this one. And like I say, these will be full of goodies when this book goes out. Um, 
but like I say, I just can't get to those bits and pieces in my craft room at the moment. It's never straightforward when I'm on video. So this, I'm seeing in the camera here, this fabric's looking very white against all of this, but it really isn't. It's not that white against the sort of vintagey look um, at all, but it's coming across as very white, but um, it's much more of an off-white. But, uh, so yeah, so there we go. That's book number two. Um, Again, if this book is available, it will be in my shop when this video goes live. So head over there and have a look if you're interested. If it's not there, then it, I'm afraid it has a home to go to. So, um, so yeah, so that is the last of these little books for a while. I um, will be back. I'm going to do another video straight after this one of the book I made from scratch that I've been working on as well that will be available when its video goes live. So again, thank you very much for watching um, and I hope you like this little book and um, we'll see you again soon. Bye.